Hey fellow ham geeks, welcome to Ham Brief, episode 30. We're going to do a little APRS today, and uh, if you've been following me on Twitter, uh, this will be a very exciting episode because we're going to tweet from our ham radio to Twitter. Stay tuned. Okay, well about a month ago, I wrote a blog on 73s.org, um, it's uh, 73s.org slash n7ICE uh, slash blog slash 253, and uh, it got a lot of attention. It was about how to tweet uh, on Twitter from your ham radio, and I walked through all the steps. Um, I think I've done a, a, an episode in the past where I showed you how using the status updates you can uh, just send a message to anyone uh, to anyone's radio uh, from 73s.org, which is pretty cool. So that's one direction. Now we have the the other direction. So we have two-way 73s to APRS working, and 73s does one additional thing. When it receives a uh, a, a message, uh, it re-echoes it to Twitter. So a lot of cool things. So. If you go to uh, the status page here, you'll see I've already been messing around. I did uh, a test uh, APRS message a while ago, and it'll say via APRS if it's if it's from APRS. Otherwise, uh, you know these status updates. Um, you know you can just send them right from uh, 73s, and they also echo to uh, Twitter. So. Uh, See there, there we go. So, you know, to look at Twitter, <laughs> this might look overwhelming, but it's my tweet deck, um, and it shows there all my friends um, that I'm following, all the replies back to me, all the direct messages that are like private messages back to me. And then you see I follow anytime anyone mentions ham radio, so I'm like really plugged in here. Um, but you'll see uh, that that like even the the yo. Um, You'll see that, look, it came in, N7ICE, at Chris Matthew, that's me, uh, status said yo, uh, and it puts a ham radio tag on the end of it, so you can see it came back here. Well, that's just a typical 73's message being retweeted um, to Twitter. Now, what I'm going to show you, I've got my trusty VX8R, my Yesu, um, and what I'm going to show you here. Um, see, I've got uh, APRS here, um, 144.390, and if we do uh, menu there, you'll see my uh, GPS coordinates. Uh, that's okay. If you go to 73s.org slash n7ICE, uh, you'll actually get to see me on my radio where I'm, uh, where I'm currently located uh, on the Google map. That's pretty cool. Um, but if we hit uh, uh, menu again, we get a station list of all the, the stations that have checked in on APRS. And this is the cool part. So this is where we get to uh, send and receive messages. Um, so we're going to send one real quick again. And on this radio, you hit the um, this, this key right here, the uh, HWRV key. And it basically comes up with what you sent last. So uh, you can see there's my test two that I just showed you online. Uh, we're going to use this mode key to kind of move around. So we're going to move around to uh, change it from test two to test three. And it's a lot like uh, SMS on a phone. You click, click the buttons until that key comes up. So now it says test three. So now the fun part, we hit this little atom looking logo. Ah, do you hear the first broadcast? That means that uh, it it sends it gets five tries, the radio does, to um, try to get the message out. So it's like every minute or so 
the last one I sent uh, went on the second the second try, uh, and it auto tries. So um, it'll be interesting to see how quick it does it now. And it's all based on uh, you know where you're standing. Is is it a good uh, a good transmission, as well as how busy uh, the APRS packets are. So uh, we'll let that run for a little while, but I do do have something while we're waiting on that. We can go to uh, findyou.com, and uh, findyou.com is all tapped into uh, APRS. So if we refresh this, we'll see that um, you'll see my test one, and uh, right here. See that's that's the thing though. Is you got to send the message to seventy threes. Seven threes has a uh, an APRS. Um, uh, watch out uh, there. So you can see N7ICE sent 73 as a message. And that was my test one I did uh, uh, 15 minutes ago. And then you see someone in Connecticut here, uh, N1GS George, uh, wrote back and just said, Hey, I've received it out here in Connecticut. I'm in Phoenix. But you know, that shows you people are watching the APRS data stream. And then you'll see. Um, a little while ago, this is in UTC time, uh, Zulu. Uh, uh, you'll see my test two there, and when you when it when it uh, sends, you can see it tacks on these extra um, keys, the extra text here at the end. So um, if we refresh this, I know it didn't make it out because my radio uh, hasn't. Uh, it normally gives you like a couple of beeps so that you know. I just heard it try again to let you know when it when it like is acknowledged. So looks like we're on uh, the third try coming up. Okay, well I just heard the acknowledgement, even though it's got like um, uh, one more transmission. You can see now the screen says test three, so that just uh, triggered. And then if we toggle back over to TweetDeck, looky there, N7ICE test three via APRS. So uh, success, success, success. We just tweeted a message. Hey, there's Jerry, QD0BIK. There's all my ham buddies. All right, so there you had it. We just tweeted a message from uh, our ham radio APRS into Twitter um, all you do is send a message to 73's pretty simple and it sends it okay well I hope you enjoyed this episode of 73's uh, ham brief episode 30 and uh, APRS is there's a whole lot to it but it, the best way to describe it is basically SMS text messaging for ham radios uh, since it also does uh, GPS, you can also do position uh, indicators. So you can track or stalk, stalk your friends, uh, your ham friends, friends with APRS. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Twitter and Google's Latitude all smashed up into one um, through 73s and uh, APRS. So until next time, 73s. Thank you.